Getting all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Smooth Jazz Kenny George Road to Glory here on College Football 25. We return and in the last episode we did really, really well. We've bolstered our record to 7-2. We've only lost one game as the starting quarterback of Memphis. This is year number two of Kenny George's career. True sophomore. We sat behind Seth Hennigan the entire first year. Didn't even get a red shirt. Kind of unfortunate. But we are a true sophomore. The starting quarterback. We've lost one game so far as a starter. We've lost two games overall. But we are ranked number 15 in the nation. Currently in projections to be in the college football playoff. And we've got three more games in the regular season to take care of today. Including a rivalry game against UAB. And we can hopefully get some revenge after last season losing this game and losing out on that big cool trophy thing that they give out. So hopefully we can change the fate and win this rivalry game and keep our domination as the starting quarterback of Memphis and hopefully keep our hopes alive for the college football playoff. If you go and enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's get into it and see how Kenny George's sophomore season plays out. Here we are in the last episode as well. We also upgraded our... Uh, player Kenny George to get up to a 70 overall I think we were a 68 and then we upgraded to a 70 so that's awesome but we have ourselves a weekly agenda and we have a big rivalry game against UAB bitter rivals and we play for some rib cage thing I forget what they call it <laughs> I don't know what it is but we play for that we lost it last season uh, with Seth Hennigan as the starting quarterback hopefully that doesn't happen again our exams are in three weeks so we're pretty good on that I should probably... Oh, that's right. I did accept a NIL thing uh, last episode. I forgot about that. Let's spend one on uh, our brand. Let's spend one on our... We don't really need to spend one on our health. I think we're pretty good on that. We'll spend one on the GPA. And then we will maybe go back into leadership. And then maybe... Let's just do one into health. That'll be good. We'll spend one into health. That'll get us completely healthy for the game. We have spent all four of our energy points... And now it's time. It is time to get into this big time game against UAB. We lost it last year. Let's not lose it again this year. Here we go. UAB has not had that good of a year. They're only 5-5. Five and five. They have not had a good year at all. But that doesn't mean they can't play spoiler in our good year and win this game, take the trophy for the second straight year, and also probably end our chances at the college football playoff because I don't think they're going to put in a three-loss uh, Memphis team in the college football playoffs. <laughs> we're already on the fringe as it is. I think we're like the, maybe we're the 12 seed or something like that. We're already very much on the fringe of the playoffs. So if we lose again, it's not going to look good. That's a tough throw, but it's going to be dropped. I thought it might have snuck in there, but not a good first drive. A little three and out action for the Memphis Tigers. Hopefully the defense can get the job done, though. You know that we don't start hot. In whatever series I do I never really start that hot so you can't expect too much craziness from Kenny George here we do have to hope that the run game gets going Kyle Mosley picks up an injury for UAB and they're gonna let me throw it they're gonna let Kenny George slang the rock we've got Jacoby Banks we've got no time in the pocket broken tackle but then brought down immediately Kenny George no chance that's what he's got unfortunate situation to get sacked there didn't really have a lot of time to figure out where to go with the football and I'm going to get hit again and that's another turnover for the defense. I didn't really have a chance. I, I tried to even throw it earlier than I wanted to. That probably gets incomplete or maybe even picked off. Who knows if I throw it, actually complete the throw because I was going to Doyle there, uh, but I didn't get a chance to because I got hit. That shows you how quickly they were getting in the backfield because I threw that way sooner than I wanted to. We're down by seven. Doesn't mean we can't come back in this one, but we are down by seven. I'm in a hot route. Oh, he can't hear it. No, I thought the crowd wasn't that loud, but he can. He couldn't hear me. But Kenny George has got the wheels to get out of the pocket and get the first down. Good job, Kenny. As we come up on the end of the first quarter, down in this one. 
and I'm changing the hot routes. He heard me on that one. I think Leverett's over on the other side, but I'm not going to be able to get it to him. I don't think he won either. Uh, but pressure from UAB. This could be tough, man. This UAB team is just like our kryptonite, apparently. They give us so much problems, and that's going to be another hit. I mean, I'm trying to get this ball out, but it's just not really working. UAB is just on top of me. They're on top of my soul. I got to scramble here. I think I've got a man open. It's going to be intercepted. I thought that Triangle was going to keep moving because he was the one that was open. I think that was Conley. Conley was the one that was open coming in the middle of the field, but I think his route was an option route, and he was either going to like go up the field or go in the middle or whatever and stop, and he did the middle. He stopped, and uh, then I had nowhere to go with the football. And they scored a field goal. So we're down 10 0 in the second quarter against UAB. I really want to win this game. I don't know why UAB is so tough against us. We lost to them last year with Hennigan at, the quarter, at quarterback. And now we are down 10 0 against them with us at quarterback. I guess they're just they're just that much better. Some teams just struggle against a certain opponent. And it seems like UAB is that opponent for us. I'm gonna step up in this pocket. I'm gonna scramble. Kenny George is gonna take a lot of hits, but he's gonna get a lot of yards out of it too. And then we'll go with a hurry up and maybe a little play action slide throw on the run possibly or get sacked immediately that also is an option that is on the table apparently man it is a hard knock life for the the memphis tiger offensive line because they are getting destroyed get that ball out the screen there's a lot of blockers in front of him and he's going to be able to get third inches on it okay read option i guess we'll give read option i believe in sutton smith i believe he's able to get this job and get the first down. Go for it, Sutton. He does get the first down, barely, but he gets it. And now they want to go RPO bubble. They just want to keep going RPO. I don't really want to call RPO. I just don't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. So we'll motion the tight end, and we'll hand the ball off to Sutton Smith, and hopefully he'll get a good chunk of yards. He does break a tackle. Sutton Smith! Oh, I thought he had the edge. If he would have got around that corner, it would have been a touchdown for sure. It would have been a touchdown for sure. Close. Close, but no cigarette. And the backup gets a decent carry there. They just keep wanting me to, to run the football, and I just don't want to. I want to throw the football. That's why I'm the quarterback. But I might have to run this football. And that's a drop. you got to be kidding me. Should I have done a low point there? I don't even know what I should have done. He was wide open, and that was a good, a good enough ball to catch. I don't know why he didn't catch it. Oh, I'm going to get sacked immediately. I didn't have a chance to move. I didn't have a chance to even move. I snapped the ball, stepped back a couple of times, and, and I was immediately tackled. Hopefully, we'll get a field goal out of it. And no, we don't even kick a field goal. So I don't know if we didn't go for the field goal, or I don't, I don't know what happened. But we have zero points still with 54 seconds to go in the half. We're down at our own goal line at the five, and Sutton Smith runs right into a the defense. Like, that's a good job, Sutton. Good job. Oh, this is not an ideal situation to be put in. We are in a rough spot. I got to just get some yards. Kenny George is going to get those yards. Do exactly what he needs to do. Call a timeout. Come on, Kenny. We got to score a touchdown before the half is over. It has to happen. We're going to roll out to the left. I think I've got a man open in the deep part of the field that's up in the air a long time it's going to be intercepted yeah that was uh probably the wrong decision he was just so open the ball just carried in the air so long because i was on the opposite side of the field when i threw it so yeah that uh that didn't work out very well for me did it but we get the ball immediately back with 16 seconds to go i don't know how we did it must have been a turnover obviously or something like that something cool happened because we have another chance defense bails me out um, I don't know where to go with the, I just underhanded that football. That was kind of cool. I didn't even know that was in the game. Kenny George just kind of underhand tossed it to the running back on the check down. Um, I got to try to throw it. It was double covered. It wouldn't have been caught anyway. Man, this UAB team is tough on defense. I can't move the football at all. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild that I can't... Although I can't move the football against any team, can I? That's got a good shot at being a good play. Oh, if he could have broken a tackle, that would have been really awesome. But nope, he gets down, and that's the end of the half. 
I mean, this is going to be a tough game to come back from. We're down 10 nothing. I don't know if we can. I, I really don't. Okay, we start the second half with the football. And we need to do something. <laughs> we need to do something. Because this team is a problem. We got nothing on that. That was a waste of a down. I'm not really even sure what to do differently. I guess I could just take off and run. Maybe that's a little different. Get out of my way! <laughs> I ran right into the guy there, the teammate. We get up to the third, uh, 33. Third down and one. Motion Sutton Smith. And then roll. And I guess hit Sutton Smith? No, take off and run. Kenny George gets the first down. Thank God. I should have just hit Sutton. I don't know why I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Sutton Smith was wide open for a, a couple of seconds. He should have... I should have just hit them. All right, give the halfback screen. He gets the first down. Good job, Sutton. Now we're starting to move the football. I'm going to try to send Conley. I hope that Conley can beat down the field before that safety chooses to go to him. Although you're open. Turn up the field, Sutton. It's not that good of a ball, but it does get caught for a first down. But it was not a good enough ball for him to turn up the field and get more yards out of it. Uh, this is tricky. This is real tricky. But Sutton Smith has going to... Oh, my God, Sutton. I thought he was going to just take that for a touchdown. It looked like he had nobody in front of him, but I think he slowed up or something. Maybe dodging a tackle. Not sure what happened, but looked like he was going to take that for a touchdown. And I got nothing here. I barely threw it. It would have been picked off probably if I did complete it. This is tough. This is super, super tough. Did he hear me? He didn't hear me. I hate this crowd, man. To the sideline. Big Hill. He got it. First down completion. I thought for sure that was going to be incomplete. I thought for sure that was incomplete. I thought I pulled it way too far to the sideline, but it worked. It's a completion. And we're going to do RPO because that's the only thing I had the option for. And he's going to get destroyed. Just stop calling RPOs. and You're calling RPOs and runs in situations where we could probably pass it. Hand off to the backup. He's going to take the edge, and he's going to get nowhere, really. Two yards. Waste of a down. We got to score here. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. A score has to happen. It's going to be Kenny George. He's going to do it himself. Touchdown, Memphis. We are still in this game. We need the defense to play good one more time. Kenny George hitting a gritty. I mean, they don't call him smooth jazz for nothing. Kenny George... We need you to dominate. That risk of injury is crazy. And the defense does a good enough job. They give us the football. And we need to score again. I'm going to send everybody deep. And we're going to hope something good happens. I think Jacoby Banks won. If that ball gets to him, it should be a touchdown. It's caught at the three. Caught and down at the three. I'll take it. It works the same. Hand off to Sutton. Smith, get in the end zone, Sutton. Get in. Get in, Sutton. He's down at the two. They want us to go read option or another run play. I mean, they're stacking the box. You got to understand, coach. You got to understand we got to do something different here. Unless the backup can get in, he can't. He's down at the one. I don't think running is, is going to work, but we're going to try it, I guess. Get in there. Sutton Smith, a corner. He gets in the end zone. We have the lead. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe we actually have the lead. Thank God. We are truly a second-half team, aren't we? That is really where we get all of our momentum and yards and stuff. And I think that might be a Jacoby Banks touchdown. Oh, it's just not the arm power. If I had more arm power, it could be a touchdown, but... Kenny George doesn't have the strength. Luckily, Jacoby Banks is winning immediately, so it's getting us good yardage. And Sutton Smith has a good carry. Good job, Sutton. Get up the field. Good job by Sutton Smith to get up the field. Give us a lot of yards there. Second and two. A little play action. Not sure where to go with the football here. Just throw it away. Just throw it away. I would have thrown a pick if I would have chosen to throw it to somebody. That was not the right idea. But we'll go read option, I guess. I mean, because they didn't really give me any other better options, so... Read option is the choice. And it might be a choice to keep it myself. Kenny George is going to keep it. He's going to get the first down. Good job, Kenny. 
They want to go for another. I'm running out of play changes here. They just keep wanting me to run the football. <laughs> I really need shoot clock to be on too. Sutton has a good carry. Good job, Sutton. Now they want to go RPO. I don't really want to go RPO, so we're going to change the play. I mean, I would have ran it anyway, I guess, so maybe I shouldn't change it from RPO. Sutton, good cutback. And he gets to the three. Good cutback from Sutton Smith. And I'm not going to snap this in the third quarter. We're going to let this ride out to the fourth quarter because that is trying to milk as much clock as possible. If they're not going to give me chew clock, then we got to chew clock ourselves. 14 to 10. Memphis has the lead. I mean, there we are. Right number at 15. Right at number 15 there for the Memphis Tigers. If we win this game, we probably go up even more. We'll see what happens. This has to be another touchdown. It just has to be. It's as simple as that. Another touchdown. Kenny George rushing. He's in. Kenny George, number two on the ground. Who needs to pass the football when you can run the football? Kenneth George. Good job, big dog. Big rushing touchdown. 21-10. to 10, We get the ball back again. This is where we make our money. This is where we make our money. The defense is playing really well. I think that's... Oh, the safety drifted back. That was open. That was open until I noticed the safety dripping back. Uh, but I didn't... I didn't notice it until I already had thrown it that he was drifting all the way back there. That's unfortunate, man. That could have been a big-time play. Okay, we'll see what we got on this one. Conley's running to the corner. Uh, let me just step up and run here. I might be able to get a first down out of it. Yes, I can. Kenny George, first down and more. And we'll go to the slants. We'll roll out of the pocket. And oh, I wanted to throw it, but he stopped there at the last second. I didn't think I'd be able to make the throw. Didn't think I'd be able to make it. So we'll switch the play to a run. Four minutes left in this game. If we can score again, I'd feel pretty confident that the game is over. But the game is never over when you're doing simulation. That's for sure. College Bowl 25. If it's taught me anything, it's taught me that the aggressive catch does not work in this game. And that the sim, the lead is never safe when you're doing sim. Oh, I barely got it away. It wouldn't have been completed anyway, I don't think. It wouldn't have been completed anyway. But it's second and goal. We're going to hand the ball off to Smith again. Please, Sutton. Punch it in. He did not. He didn't even get close. Third and goal. This is a big moment. We got a score here. It has to happen. It has to be a score. And it's going to be a Kenny George three-peat on the ground. Who needs to pass the football for touchdowns when you can run the football like Cam Newton? Kenny George. He does the dang thing. And he scores another touchdown on the ground. 28-10. They do score 28-16. This is when I would love Chew Clock to be on, Coach. But unfortunately, I cannot be the one to do that, apparently. So we'll just have to Chew Clock the old-fashioned way. Hand the ball off to Sutton Smith. Most likely have to punt the ball because he won't get the first down. But if he does, that'd be awesome. I mean, he got close. It's third and three now. They're going to make me pass it. Okay. I respect it. I'm going to go underneath to Big Hill, and he's going to get up the field for a big-time play. Good job, Big Hill. Needed that one, and we're back to running the football. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. We need a win here. I want to win that rivalry trophy. Look at that. That's a decent run. Gets us two yards. That might take us to the two-minute warning. Should I snap it before the two-minute warning? I probably shouldn't, right? Probably should let this roll down to the two-minute warning, not give them an extra timeout. They've still got all three of them. I'd prefer if they didn't have an extra timeout. So, boom. There we go. Two-minute warning. 28-16. to 16. Handoff is to the backup. And he's got a first down and more. Oh, maybe not more. A couple yards, maybe. <laughs> and there's the first timeout for UAB. Make them waste their timeouts. Keep running the football. There's the handoff. He's got room. He's shifty. He's moving back and forth. 
and he's got a few extra yards there. Second timeout used by UAB. It is second and three. This will be their final timeout unless there's like a weird stop or something. And there it is, the final timeout for UAB. They got no more. It's 28 to 16 and they have no more timeouts. A first down probably ends this game. Can we get it? Probably not. We hand it off to the backup. He's going to get the first down. He's going to get the touchdown as well. That's probably not the right idea. We probably should have just stopped at the one or something. But, hey, a touchdown is a touchdown. And we score 35-16. They scored again. But it's 35-23 and they've got no timeouts. So we're going to QB Neal. And that is going to be a rivalry win for the Memphis Tigers. We take home that weird trophy for the first time as the starter, Kenny George, man. We do not start well at all. We struggle in the first quarter most times. The Battle of the Bones is the trophy that we won. And Kenny George wins it. He did something that Seth Hennigan didn't do last year. Seth Hennigan did not win the Battle of the Bones trophy last year. I wonder if that's going to move us up the top 25. I hope so. Man, we do not start well at all. We always are slow to the to the party but when we come when we come to the party we arrive and we arrive very well and very dominantly another victory for kenny george is the starting quarterback he's just bolstering his resume big dogs bolstering that resume big win massive win we get the rivalry we get some more xp a level up and almost another one so another skill point i think that makes five i think that makes five skill points for us i don't think we can upgrade anything but Yes, big victory. How does that push us in the top 25? Where does that put us? Where does that put us? We've got more coach trust, which we're already pretty solid on. We don't really need any more coach trust. Our influencer is getting pretty crazy. We are now ranked number 13. So we don't move up too much, but we're ranked number 13 now. we got to do our weekly agenda. So we will do definitely this one to get our health back up. Uh, we'll do our exams to get prepared and then we'll probably spend another one in energy to make sure that we're completely healthy and then probably one more in brand I would say get our brand up even more I could probably have used that in skill but or in uh, training but we'll get those we'll get the XP if we have a good game it's not that big of a deal and right now our team schedule we have two more games left including this one we lost the first game of the season which I was not the starter for that was the the backup the now backup we started our first game against Georgia State. We did lose the one game against Arkansas, which, to be fair, we weren't ready for Arkansas. But then we've gone on a huge win streak, including a big victory against Tulane, who's still in the top 25 themselves. Uh, then we beat just beat UAB now. We play North Texas and we play Rice. Two tough teams. Well, Rice is probably more tough than North Texas. But if we win out, we'll play in the, the, uh, the American Championship, Conference Championship. And if we go to the CFP bracket... We currently sit at the 12th seed going up against USC, which is not ideal, <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, we will see what happens. We will see what happens, but we got North Texas on the road. Got to get another victory. That's about as simple as it is. Got to keep winning if we want to play in the college football playoffs. It's time for Kenny George to take the field for the first time against North Texas. These North Texas uniforms, they feel like the alternate old school Kelly Green Eagles uniforms. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from them. Especially with the all white and then the green helmet and then the, like the North Texas Eagle thing that they have on their helmet. Kind of looks like the Eagle on those old helmets. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. But anyway, we can't care about what they remind me of. All we got to do is get a win here. Stay in the national conversation. And also stay in the, the running for the conference championship game. I'd love to win the conference championship. That'd be awesome too. Kenny George's got a lot of room. Nobody was paying attention to Kenny. You always got to pay attention to Kenny G, baby. He's too quick. Well, he's not that quick, but he's quick enough to make a lot of movement. A lot of movement happen. I'm going to actually send R1 Big Hill on a post because that'll hopefully distract the safety. And then we can send it deep to Leverett. Leverett, come back to it. Oh, it dropped it. I thought he might have adjusted and got the, the catch. That would have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think he won initially and then lost it right afterwards. Oh, I had to throw that sooner than I wanted to. North Texas got a guy in there immediately. I didn't even have a chance to think. Third and ten. I got to step up in this pocket and do it again. Kenny George is going to keep the drive going. 
huge first down conversion or third down conversion and we'll hand this ball off to who's this in the oh it's conley in the backfield okay go get it conley move conley's he's he stood there for like a hot two or three seconds just standing there staring at the back of the offensive lineman that he ran into maybe he was doing some sort of mind tricks hesitation up the field up the field playmaker don't care oh he's open no I didn't know I was across the line of scrimmage. He was open, too. I was going to run. I was I was going to run until I saw t uh, Triangle get so open in the end zone. And I was like, oh, I got to throw that. But then I just happened to be across the line of scrimmage when I did it. That's stupid. That's a bad mistake. An avoidable mistake. I'm going to roll out to the left here. I think X has a good shot of being open. I'm going to have to find out. Too low. Too low. Field goal opportunity for, for Memphis. That was a good drive that we kind of just squandered there at the end. Unfortunate there. We'll see what happens on this next drive for Texas. They get a field goal as well. So it's 3-3. Three to three. We got read option. Handoff is to Smith, and he's going to get nowhere. Swallowed up by a sea of white jerseys. Not ideal at all. I just don't have a receiver that can win as much as I need them to. Up the field. Is that going to work? Inside leverage. Conley couldn't bring it in. I got to just start taking off and running in those situations. I keep thinking that some big play is going to happen when I uh, playmaker them up the field. Because sometimes it does happen. Oh, I got to scramble immediately. Get that ball away. And I couldn't. I'm just not quick enough to get away from that. That linebacker was in immediately on me. Another failed drive for the Memphis Tigers. North Texas doesn't have anything to work for them either. So, oh, God, we are in a dangerous situation. This is not a good time to call play action, but it works enough, and it's going to be incomplete. Leverett, I don't even think, even ever saw the ball. At all. I don't know if he ever knew I was going to throw it to him. It looked like he didn't even turn around. So that's unfortunate. Um, Who's open? Who's open? Nobody. Ah, oh, triangle might have been. But I got the first down anyway. Triangle at the very last second, but I think I would have been in another situation where I I uh, passed the line of scrimmage. We're going to change Leverett's route. If Leverett would just win. Oh, he backed off. I hate you. Hate you, hate you, hate you. Uh, don't give up speed, George. Hard hit. Hard hit. He's hurting after that. You see Kenny just roll over like, oh. That was a hard hit. Handoff is to Smith. He's going nowhere. It's a waste of a down. We get a yard out of it. And they want me to run the football again on third and three. Probably not the smartest idea, but I believe in Sutton Smith. I should probably believe in the offensive line. He got it. Good job, Sutton. And an injury for North Texas. Another handoff. This time to the backup. He's got a lot of blocking. Good carry. Really good run. And another run. Man, this offensive coordinator loves to run the football, doesn't he? He loves to run that football. And the handoff to the backup, and he takes it for a decent carry. He gets about six on the carry. I'll take that. Read option, and then the other options are RPOs, because of course they are. So we'll try and counteract that with a read option. Handoff to the backup, and he's going to get nothing on that. Shut down immediately. I probably should have carried that myself. I don't know if I read. I don't think I read the play that well. This time I will carry it myself. And Kenny George, I tried to slide, but it was too close contact. <laughs> I was trying to avoid taking a big hit, but I took a big hit anyway. Hand off, nothing, 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 nothing. You'd think that the coordinator would be watching the game and realizing that running the football not really the move. <laughs> Not really the move, but hey, he, he sticking to his guns. You got to give him credit for that. You got to respect him. He's committed to the run game. It has moved in the foot. It has moved the football a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Sack on the play. I think I rolled too early. If I would have waited a little bit longer, I might have been able to get around that guy. But I think I rolled before he actually got connected to the tackle, and so he was easily able to break off and and get there. North Texas does kick a field goal to take the lead. We got to do something here before the half is over. Come on, Kenny. Got to step up in the pocket. 
Too much defense. And Kenny George running over people, getting that first down. Good carry. Maybe if I just send Conley deep. Is there? There's a slight chance that, that Conley just breaks through and, and gets the opening. He didn't. Playmaker up the field. That's going to work. Finally, the playmaker works like I wanted it to. Big play from Kenny George. That gets us to the 15-yard line. What do we got now? Uh, we got to roll. We got to roll. That's what we got to do. Ah, uh, circle's open, but I don't know if I can hit him. Kenny George gets the first. He's still on his feet. Now he's not. I, I might have been able to hit circle. I don't know how good the throw on the run is for Kenny. I didn't want to risk that. Why is R1 wide open? Okay, they drifted over to him. Makes sense. Kenny George up the field. Broken tackle at the two. Kind of a waste there, if you ask me. Kind of a waste. But maybe we can get a touchdown here with the read option. Hand it off. Get inside. End zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Okay, we take the lead. And the defense can't do anything. Or the offense for North Texas can't do anything. Our defense does something. Stops them. We're into the second half now. Nothing doing, really. That's a gain of one. Um, Do I like this play? Probably not. But we're going to find out. Oh, that's open. That's Jacoby Banks. Wide open. Thank you, ma'am. And it's three straight RPOs. you got to be kidding me, man. What is that selection? What is that play selection? Three straight RPOs? I mean, it's always going to be a run. I'm never going to throw it on RPO. I just don't like it. Where do we go with this? I feel like I've earned enough coach trust to be able to choose my own plays and able to, to audible and all kinds of stuff. But apparently they don't trust me enough. Kenny George gets a big first down. Big first down. Hand off to Sutton Smith. We need to score another touchdown here. That's just that's just the way it has to be. Smith tried to get the, the edge, but he doesn't get it fully. He gets three yards on the carry. They want to run another play. I don't want to run another play. I want to pass it. And maybe scramble. Usually my go-to. Um, Take off. Take off, Kenny. You're going to get the first down easily. Juke move. Oh, I juke like four people. That was pretty sick. <laughs> that was pretty sick. I juked like four people at one time, and Kenny letting out a big scream in excitement because he's had a crazy juke right there. Just get that to the check down, I guess. I wanted to go to Leverett there, but I didn't think it was going to be open. So I chose uh, I chose the check down, get a couple yards, I guess. Second and six. Step up in the pocket, scramble, throw me a block. Thank you, ma'am. Another block, Kenny George! I was about to dive, too. I was about to dive to try to get in there. But I wasn't sure if it was it was worth it. So I didn't, I didn't do it. I just lowered the shoulder. And we'll have Sutton Smith run right into the end zone, score another touchdown. We take a big lead. Perfect. Exactly what we needed to do. And now we get the ball back again. It's still 17-6. to six. I wish I could audible this to a pass because there is no safety help over the top at all. We'll hand it off to Sutton, and Sutton will get a lot of room. Oh, I wanted him to go even further. I wanted him to go even further. Uh, roll out of the way, roll out of the way. I've rolled to the wrong side of the field. I got to take off and run. There was nothing else I could do there. I, I rolled to the wrong side. I couldn't see any of the receivers. Second and six. It's 17 to six. Hand off to Sutton. Sutton's going to break a tackle. Get up the field, Sutton. Third and one. An RPO situation or read option. I guess I'll choose read option. Do they read me? I don't, I don't know if they read me or not. They did read me, so we'll hand it off. But the running back does not do a good job there. He ran right into the other guy. They read both the plays, to be honest. They read, they read both me and the running back. So we'll punt the ball back to North Texas. Hopefully they don't score. They didn't. Another RPO situation. Coach loves running RPOs, that's for sure. 28 seconds in the third quarter. I really wish I could chew, chew, uh, turn chew clock on. That'd be a perfect situation to have it. Stand in the pocket and fire it to Jacoby Banks. A little bit off target, but he holds it in, or brings it in for a big touchdown catch. Not a touchdown catch, a big first down catch. Uh, 
I think you're open. Ah, oh, I don't know if that ball actually was going to get there or not. Because there was a safety over there that was probably going to stop that from being caught. Screen is kind of sloppy, but it works. Kenny George got 100 yards through the air. Crucially, no interceptions this time. Third and two. Hand the ball off to the running back. He will get the first down, and that'll be the end of the, the third quarter. We go into the fourth quarter, leading 17-6. to six. We need to keep doing what we've been doing to get the job done. We're up to number 13. I'd love to get up to the top 10. I don't know if that's going to be possible, especially when we're a lower-tier conference team. It'd be amazing to get up there, though. Does Big Hill win on the slot fade? He might. Uh, I don't know, though. I don't have enough time. Throw me a block, and it's going to be a great play. No, Jacoby. All you had to do was toss your body in front of him, and I got even more yards. Oh, Jacoby, you got to be better than that. You got to throw a block. I'm going to take off and run again. This time, I'm going to get up to the 24-yard line. We're definitely going to be spending some more energy in uh, in turning our health back down because we are taking some big shots this time. Sutton Smith gets a good carry. And we will go with a slot outside. And then we'll turn the slot outside into a... Can I turn it into a fade? I don't think I can turn it into a fade unless I turn it into a custom stem. What's a custom stem do? I don't, I don't know. I'm still learning how to do all that stuff. I turn it into a post. Whatever. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff, and I take a big sack on that play. Not ideal. It looked like there was a lot of room there, but when I stepped in the pocket, they completely readjusted and shut that down quickly. That's how it usually goes. But this time, they didn't, and Kenny George takes a big gain to the seven-yard line. They want me to run RPO. Shocker. 17-6. to six. The RPO is a handoff to Sutton. He cuts it back in and gets shut down immediately. You see, Coach? RPO just don't work. It just don't, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't work. Ooh, Sutton got hit hard on that one. Third and goal from the four. If we can get in here, I'd feel real confident about ending this game. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. I think that might have been Conley on the catch, or it's Doyle. Either one, it's Conley. Conley with the catch. Big touchdown. And we take it 24 to 6. This one's over. This one is over. Finally. Another win. I know they're only a three win team, and we should beat them, but you never know when you play against Heisman difficulty defenses. You never know, but we will stay win or undefeated in the conference with only one game left to go against Rice. We should be able to take control of this and get the job done play in the conference championship and then hopefully play in the, the college football playoff you know what i threw that there knowing it wasn't going to be completed because i just want to get out of this game and if we simulate it gets us quicker to getting out of this game so i didn't really even care if we complete that or not all right 40 141 to go in the game 27 yard line is where we start and he's going nowhere gain of two hand the ball off again i guess Because that's the specialty of this offense is to hand the football off. Even though Kenny George is a dual threat talent. Broken tackle gets to the 19. They want to do read option here? Okay, I'll do read option. I'm going to keep it myself though. I'm going to keep it myself. And I'm going to get tackled before the first down marker. I wanted to get tackled before the... Oh, I actually got the first down marker? What? No way. There's no way I got the first down. I was trying to get stopped so that I would we would simulate again. <laughs> But I actually got the first down. I didn't think I was going to. Ben Woodyard, I think that's the third time he's been injured. He needs to just retire. Minutes to go in the game. Hand off. First down, third and inches. Okay. Third and inches. They're not using their timeouts because they know it's over. Another handoff, first down, and that'll be the ball game. We'll probably just QB Neal, I would assume. No, we're going to run it again. Okay. Well, if I had shoe clock on, it'd be a lot easier. That's for sure. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. There's the handoff. Good juke move. Takes him to the two. 
And now we go with a halfback smash, because why not? Sutton Smith is either super tired or he's injured. Because he's not out here. And he hasn't been out here for a while. To the one. It's third and goal. Another handoff. I could just let this roll to the end of the game, but... I mean, we might as well see what happens. Maybe we could score. Who knows? Motion the tight end. Doyle. Hand it off. End zone. Another touchdown. Makes it look a little bit better than it, than it probably was. And that is the ball game. We win another game as the starting quarterback of Memphis. And we didn't really even start that slow this time. I mean, we, we got a field goal in the first quarter, but we were pretty good the whole game. Especially on the ground, we had a good game. And we win player of the game again, 104 yards and a touchdown. We're not we're not blowing anybody away. We're not setting records and in, in, uh, passing. But we're winning games, and we're being somewhat efficient with the football. And that's really what you want from a quarterback. Especially when you're at a, a mid-major like Memphis. You don't need a, a quarterback that's going to be super careless with the football and just chuck it down the field 70 times a game. You got to be efficient and smart with the ball, and that's what we've been doing, and we're winning games because of it. And our defense has been really, really good too. So we get another level up, and about halfway to a, another level up. So we are... Another skill point closer to upgrading our player again. Big win. Are we going to go in the top 25 even further? Top 10 possibly? Probably not since we beat North Texas. Maybe like 12th or 11th. We get more coach trust. That's good. We got to be getting close to the end. Okay, we are. Let's see where we are ranked for the final game of the regular season. We're number 9. We are officially into the top 10 of the CFP. Going up against 6-5 and five Rice. We will spend an energy point on our exam, so we are fully prepared for that. Certainly got to spend on health to get uh, completely healthy for the game. We have two energy left. We'll spend one in leadership, and we will spend one in our brand. There we go. Okay, so we are getting all of the coach trust, all of the team XP, all of the good stuff, and we are fully prepared for our exam next week. Going up against Rice, the... CFP bracket has us now ranked at number four. So we would get the buy and play in it. Looks like the Sugar Bowl. I think that's the Sugar Bowl logo. Okay. That is going to be pretty cool. If we win this game, we'll have a top four seed. Well, we also got to win the, the championship, the conference championship. I think we can get the job done. I hope we can. And it's three straight road, great, road games too, which is kind of wild. Uh, let's go get this bread. All right, we are here for the final game of the regular season. Kenny George on the road against Rice. We are currently the number four seed in the college football playoff, ranked number nine in the country. And Sutton Smith has a huge carry already. Good start to the game, 16 yards on one play. That's beautiful. We're going to try a weird play that I don't usually run. We're going to try a little swing. I don't like these plays usually, but this one's going to work out for me. That's good. That builds my confidence. They, I just noticed they have a guy named DJ Arkansas, which is kind of wild. <laughs> All right, good couple plays to start this game. If we win this and we go to the conference championship and we win that, then we will be guaranteed a huge seed in the college football playoff. And think about that. Kenny George, first year as a starter at Memphis, and we'd be playing in the college football playoff. I mean, that would be unbelievably cool. Good block by the offensive lineman there. Getting a big screen. They want to run an RPO bubble. I don't want to run, run an RPO bubble. I want to run read option. Who's back there? Conley's back there. All right, Conley. He's going to get nothing. Nothing doing on that one. Lost a yard, actually. So it happens when you call a run play. We'll hand the ball out to the backup. And he... Has a decent lane. He gets a couple yards. Third and six. Stick wheel. This play doesn't usually work, but we're going to try it again. I'm going to send Jacoby Banks deep, and hopefully he wins. The safety goes and helps. Uh, you're open, though. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> I think that was DJ Arkansas, number six. You see him just jumping in the air? He wasn't even close to in front of me. I don't know why he thought that he would get a block there. I don't, I don't know. He just kept jumping in the air like he was trying to block it. That was kind of funny. We're moving the football very efficiently on this first drive. Something that's not really familiar to Kenny George here in the first quarter. Handoff is to Sutton, and he's got 
A couple yards down to the seven. Third and three. Double slants. Does double slants work? Possibly. It only works by Kenny George scrambling. He's the best running quarterback in college football. Kenny George rushing touchdown. And he puts him to sleep in the first quarter. That's that's the audacity, Kenny. I like it. I mean, they still got a lot of football to be played. But I like that you're putting him to sleep already. Hand off to Sutton. And he's going to get a broken tackle. Think about how much room he would have had. They brought everybody up to the line. If he would have just broken the first line of defense, he probably doesn't get caught. That's how many people they brought pressure on. Playmaker, 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 playmaker. I'm sending the playmaker. I was pressing the playmaker so many times, but uh, Megwa just wouldn't do it. Luckily, we were able to get a couple yards out of it. Third and four. Do I stand in the pocket here and fire it in? Of course I do. It's going to be caught. Turn up the field. Big play. Kenny George can also stand in the pocket and get the job done when need be. This has been an efficient game. I don't think I've had an efficient game like this in a long time. Maybe ever. We're really cooking, aren't we? We are really cooking with gasoline. Conley's the one in the backfield for the read option. Do I keep it myself? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Kenny George with the ball and blocks. Kenny George! And smooth jazz down to the 16. Good read option. I don't really like this play at the goal line or close to the goal line. But we're going to run it anyway and see what happens. Uh, we're going to have to do that. And it's caught, and he got away from the tackler. I think that was DJ Arkansas again. He overcommitted, maybe. And I especially don't like this play this close to the, the, the end zone. This is just, there's not really a lot of space. This might have to be a genuine Kenny George scramble. So much space in the middle, and another rushing touchdown. We might break a Memphis rushing record in terms of touchdowns. Because we've gotten, this episode especially, we've gotten a lot of touchdowns on the ground. A lot of touchdowns on the ground, but we lead 14 to nothing here in the first quarter against uh, against Rice. This is the perfect situation to be put into. Handoff. He tried to go outside. Probably would have been better suited to go inside, but he chose outside and he didn't get much. A middle high low situation. This could be Leverett for a touchdown if he. Oh, he can't hear me. It's not even that loud. Stadium pulls. Okay, he heard me that time. Hopefully it pays off. I think it did. I got it away just in time. Get that ball to him. He dove and got it. Touchdown, Memphis. Leverett with the score. He's letting them hear it. Touchdown, Memphis. Big ball from Kenny George. And they finally score. It took them all until the second quarter to finally score for Rice. But they've done it. 21-7. Handoff is to Conley. And Conley will get shut down immediately. Play action boot, maybe? A little play action bootness. Going to roll, going to roll, going to roll, going to roll, going to keep on rolling until we can't roll anymore. It's a really late hit. Out of bounds. Man, the stadium pulse is going crazy here. I didn't realize that Rice's fan base was so rabid. Playmaker up the field. This could work. Behind him, intercepted. What's the flag? It's not a roughing the passer because I didn't get hit. Oh, I missed the tackle. That's embarrassing. I finally threw a pick. I have, I've been playing really, really well today. What's the flag, though? Is it going to be... Bailed. Bailed City. DJ Arkansas. Thank you, Mr. Arkansas. He bailed me. He roughed the pass, or he uh, passed interference, and we get bailed out of it, and it's a beautiful thing. So no interception on the resume for Kenny George, who's had a really, really good day today. That's crazy. Thank you, DJ Arkansas. Oh, you can't hear me. Come on, you're right next to me, Conley. You can't tell me. You can't tell me you can't hear me. Um, step up in the pocket and scramble, Kenny. Kenny's got room. Kenny's got wheels. Broken tackle. Okay, Kenny. Good job, Kenny Seymour Jr. Okay. Stick play and then send Conley deep and see what happens. We got a roll. We got a roll. Set it in. Little bit behind. Little bit behind. That's just the problem not having really tremendous throw power with Kenny George. Is plays like that that should be caught in stride or just a little bit harder to throw to because they're just not, the power's not there from the arm. 
All right, this is a little bit of a deep curls. I don't really like curls. Curls in any football video game just never really work. They're very easily picked off, and we're not even going to find out if they're easily picked off because that's a sack. 21-7 will kick the field goal, go up 24-7. Hopefully not allow a touchdown for Rice. Um, They will score. So exactly what I said not to do, they did. Touchdown scored. Leverett's got a chance. He's already got one touchdown today. He might have another one. Leverett. It's a good ball. It's a touchdown. One play, and we score. Leverett with the touchdown. Big ball, and he goes Heisman pose. I'll take it. 31-14. We go into the half, and we get the, the ball. Great job. Leverett's got another chance to score. I'll take it again if he wants to give it to me. I think he did it again. Leverett, take it again. He's got it. Another touchdown. If we're just going to score like this, I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day, every day. And now we got a slot option. I should have flipped this. Can I flip it? Flip the play, right? Is there a way to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't think the slot fades open. That's open, though. Is he in bounds? No! You got to stay in bounds, man. I know it was a little bit of a late throw, but you got to stay in bounds. Hand off to Smith. He's going to get a good carry. Really good carry, actually. 38-14. to A couple of quick strike touchdowns have really gotten this game out of control for us, and I like that. Putting us in a comfortable position. We don't have to sweat. And that should be Jacoby Banks' touchdown. It will be. I love these touchdowns, man. It's just padding the stats for Kenny George, making him look like he's killing it, which he is. This is his, probably his best game of his starter as a starter, this game right here against Rice. And Leverett's got a good shot. Leverett's got a real good shot. He might have done it again. That's a low ball. It's going to be knocked incomplete. Oh, it's caught. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Man, that was that was a bad ball from Kenny. If that's a good ball, that's a touchdown. Absolutely. 45-14, to 14, though. We're really putting the, the work on Rice right now. I mean, it's their fault, though. They're, they're pressing on guys that they shouldn't be pressing on. And I think they pressed on Leverett again. It could be another one for him. Oh, it's just out of reach. I feel like that's more on Leverett than it is on me. He should have had that. That was, I mean, that was the same ball as I threw the previous time. I don't know how he didn't catch it. Okay, they scored. Are they? Did they pull me? 45-27. I think they might have pulled me. 52-27. 55-27. Win. They pulled me in the fourth quarter. I'll take it. I didn't need to play in that game anymore. We win another game. Kenny George lost one game. In his entire career as the starting quarterback of Memphis. And that was to Arkansas, which to be fair, he probably shouldn't have won in the first place. Or at any point. 311 yards and 6 touchdowns. Arguably Kenny's best game as the starter. Just a chucking deep balls to Leverett and Banks. And that, crucially, keeps us in the pace for the college football playoffs. We are going to play in the conference championship game. Because we're undefeated in the conference. So we will play in that. And we will play in the college football playoff in the next episode. Which is crazy. Although we, we obviously have to win the game in the, the championship. In the conference championship. Another big level up. We've leveled up like three times in this episode. That's kind of crazy. Love to see it. Alright, big win. 10-2. and two. Does that put us top five? Does that put us top five in the nation? We get more Coach Trust. We're almost completely done with Coach Trust. I'm assuming we got all A's on our exam. Here we are. Your final results are back. You aced them all. Yep, of course we did. Because we are smart. Kenny George is the American Offensive Player of the Week. i love to see that. That might be our first award. And we get the AC, or the uh, the AAC, I think is, is the name of it. Whatever it is. We're going up against Charlotte, number 21. Glad it's not UAB, because they were tough. And what is this? Oh, that's Player of the Week. Are we in the Heisman watch? That'd be amazing if we were. We are not. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we... I didn't think we would be, but I just wanted to check. All right, so we got a big conference championship game. We are number six in the nation, though. Number six in the nation. We'll spend some stuff on studying. We'll spend some on leadership. We'll spend some on brand and on training to get another skill point. And then on brand again. And then on injury again. So we're perfectly healthy. All right. So we got nine skill points. I wonder if I can do anything. 
can I do anything with skill points here? That's not what I wanted to do. I want to upgrade my player. Can I not upgrade him? I don't know. Let me simulate the week and see what happens. We get more coach trust. Just a little bit more. Actually, that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk of, of uh, coach trust there. And now we have the championship game, commerce championship. Here's upgrade player. There we go. So we've got nine skill points. We can spend it on power to get our throw power up. That might be a little bit uh, good. We can do elusiveness. We can do our accuracy, which probably is what we should do. We can't do speed. Should I waste? I've seen people sp uh, get all their skill points to get speed or to get quickness, and it doesn't really boost them up that much. So maybe if we do our accuracy, that, that's probably the smarter idea. So let's spend eight skill points, get our accuracy up. That takes us to a 72 overall. That's going to help us out. But I probably should work on my throw power because it's only 85. But we have uh, we have one skill point remaining. All right, we got our weekly agenda that we'll take care of in the next episode. So we got a pretty jam-packed episode next episode. We've got the conference championship game against Charlotte. And then if we win that, hopefully we do. Then we've got CFP playoffs. We've got the college football playoffs. We are the one seed. We've jumped to the number one seed of the college football playoffs. If we can hold that then we will be in the playoffs as the one seed if we win this game against against Charlotte. But that is a jam-packed episode for next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.